Something's Cooking is sponsored by Express Kitchens. Growing, growing, growing. Now, we usually bring you Something's Cooking on Wednesday, but because of the breaking news we were following yesterday, we are sharing this segment tonight. Yeah, and it's a good one. So get ready to go back in time. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne is taking us to a unique restaurant mm -hmm. in the Elm City. You know, a lot of truly awesome things were created right here in Connecticut. The submarine, the can opener, even the wiffle ball. But you know, perhaps the state's greatest invention of all is reinvented every single day here at Louie's Lunch in New Haven. Come on, let's go inside. Stepping through the doors of Louie's Lunch transports you to another era. The restaurant is largely unchanged when from Louis Lassen opened it in 1895. They've been serving up the same signature item for more than a century. Many restaurants make burgers, of course, but only Louis Lunch can claim to have invented the now iconic sandwich. The Library of Congress credits Louis for selling the first hamburger in the United States. Greater accomplishment. Man walking on moon with the creation of the burger. Burger. As you can tell, I'm a little biased. You can't blame Jeff Lassen, Louis's great grandson, for being proud. In 1900, when a customer needed something he could eat on the run, Louis served him ground steak trimmings between two slices of toast. The world was never the same. Better invention, the submarine or the hamburger? Uh, that's a tough one, but I'm gonna go with burger. Now, Jeff owns the restaurant and makes the burgers pretty much like his great-grandfather did. He cooks them in the original vertical cast iron gas grills, and the burgers are still served on white bread toasted in the most modern machinery in the entire joint. Yes, that toaster is from 1929, so that's not only 90 years old. It's fairly new. Jeff hopes the future of Louis lunch looks a lot like its glorious past. And if things go right, who knows? Maybe we won't have to debate if landing on the moon or inventing the burger was a greater accomplishment. One day we got to get a burger up there on the moon, don't you think? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'd love to do that. And it's got to be from Louis' lunch. Absolutely. I got to agree with you. And another great thing about this burger, you definitely don't even need a bib. The meat is the star of the show on this sandwich. The only thing on this burger is a patty, onions, tomatoes, and cheese if you want it all on toasted white bread. As my wife likes to say, this burger is very simple, just like me. Hey. Reporting for Something's Cooking, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.